Hello folks, this is Steve Grisetti, co-founder of MoviePix.com and author of the MoviePix.com Guide to Adobe Premiere Elements. And here we are in Adobe Premiere Elements 2022, looking at some of the new features in the program. Now, quite often when you're working on a project, you're getting media from a variety of sources. Standard camcorders are going to give you standard video sizes, but sometimes people are shooting video with their phones or they're providing you video that is in an aspect ratio different than your project settings. Let me show you what I mean. My project settings in this particular project are set up for standard 1920 by 1080. That's pretty standard camcorder video. And when I created this project, I locked those settings in. And I discussed that in another tutorial. When you lock the settings in, the program will not automatically change your project to match those video settings. We're pretending we have a project that's set up for standard video. We've got a lot of other media on the timeline. And then somebody gives us a video that is 4x3 rather than 1920 by 1080 So when I drag it down to the timeline here, you notice that the picture does not fill the video frame. We've got black lines on the right and left. Well, a brand new feature here in version 2022 is a tool for automatically reframing. In other words, automatically resizing whatever video you drop in to fit the video frame. Let me show you how it works. I'm just gonna make sure that clip is selected on the timeline. I'm going over here to the top left of the timeline and clicking on auto reframe. Voila. Just like that, the picture fills the frame. Now also, this is a smart tool. It looks at your video, it figures out what your main subject is, in this case, this man giving the tour, and it keeps him, there we go, it automatically recentered him in the picture, or recentered his face in the picture. Now you can make fine tuning adjustments. If I liked it better with uh, more of him showing, I can go over here with the clip selected on the timeline and go over here to my applied effects panel and I can make some adjustments to the position by dragging clicking and dragging that's scrubbing over these numbers here and reposition them so that he's where I want him to be I can also affect his rotation and scale I'm not going to mess with those at all in fact I'm going to reset the default settings here for automatic reframe there we go and just leave it as that now that's great for the most part and it works for the most part obviously in order to do that the program had to enlarge the video a little bit to fill the frame so you're going to lose a little bit of resolution it may not be a noticeable amount it's probably going to be an acceptable amount let me show you an example of where that may not be the case quite often i'm just going to move to the end of the timeline by clicking the end button uh, quite often someone is going to give you a video that was shot upright with their phone held upright and it is taller than it is wide. I'm going to drag that down to the timeline and now we have yet another video here that is not quite filling the video frame. I can use that tool on it, but I'm expanding it a lot. You know, if I were to look, this video goes way up here, way down here. I'm cutting off a lot of video. I'm also taking it and I'm expanding it, boy, to probably almost twice its size. But let's see what happens anyway. We'll select the clip on the timeline. We'll click the automatic reframe button. And there the program has reframed the picture and it's repositioned the picture so that the subject is in the center of the frame. Does a really good job, but just know that it may not be obvious here, but when we see this at 1920 by 1080, we may see a little bit of fuzziness, a little loss of resolution. But overall, this is a great tool. Uh, it actually works automatically right out of the box. Very, very nice. You can make fine tuning adjustments to it, but I actually find that the results that the program gives you by default are actually pretty darn good. That's the auto reframe tool, a new tool here in version 2022 of Adobe Premiere Elements. And if you want to know all about this program and all about the dozens of tools that are in the program and how to use them, you'll want to check out the moviepix.com guide to Adobe Premiere Elements. It's available at amazon.com. If you got any questions, come on down to the community forum at moviepix, M-U-V-I-P-I-X.com, and we will do our best to answer your question. I'm Steve Rossetti. Hope to see you again real soon.